After spending five months abroad, which were made of living in French Alps for the winter season, meeting people I can call my friends now, seeing mountains that I wish I could call my home one day, and just learning such new ways of living and being. At the middle of April, we started our journey back home, and here is the total of almost 3,000 kilometers we drove and places we visited. So we drove through the cloud down the mountain and started our way to our first destination, which is a city called Arbo. We started our day with some wonderful cheese toasts on the sunny balcony, and here will be a quick Airbnb tour, as you see. We really did like this balcony and had some really nice time there. And here you can see where I got the hat from. So this is the living room. Then there was a nice kitchen. And upstairs there were two bedrooms and I had four beds to choose from. Then we visited town center and after the winter season in Alps, we just couldn't stop being excited and fascinated about all the blooming flowers and trees and just everything felt so alive. It was such beautiful contrast. We spent the day touring around the many waterfalls, gardens, riverside and vineyards. And before sunset, we went for a walk in the forest, which felt unbelievably green after seemingly never-ending snow sceneries. After a couple of days, we drove further to a place where we were supposed to do a work away for some time. We thought about two weeks at the start, but when we arrived to the place, our plans did start to develop in a different direction. This place was very, very rural French countryside, where we would help with gardening for exchange of free stay and meals. These are the rooms we stayed in. They were inside a very old building, with museum-like furniture, but it was freezing cold at night and I started to develop an allergic reaction from something there. So we spent one whole day and two halves and helped to do some unweeding and build this greenhouse for them. And then we were on our way again. We drove to a Latvian house in Freiburg, Germany, which seemed like the most idyllic place. It was surreal to see our flag and speak with people in Latvian language after so long. <laughs> so this is the biggest olive plate I've bought ever in my life and some hummus, quite dark bread and carrot salad and all that with this beauty
truly enjoyed our stay there. It was Easter time and the place was beautifully decorated and we spent some days just exploring the surrounding city and had nature walks in the forest. Mums ir ļoti daudz varianti. Šodien mēs sapratīsim, jā. After nourishing time in Freiburg, we drove to the city called Wiesbaden that we wish to visit on our way back at the first place. We spent three days there, as well explored the beautiful architecture and parks and just got the feel and vibe of the place. Then we went to a Hildegard von Bingen shop in Rudenheim, surrounded by vineyards and happy people. This is our new apartment. <laughs> Pearl of minimalism. We will see today. Room with a view. <laughs> Swimming in the cherries. Yes. Later on, we drove further to the city called Dresden in eastern Germany, where I had booked a capsule like hostel called Foxbox, which was a literally a box, just for people, not box. Then, early in the morning, I was woken up by loud German music, and without complaining, I will continue the story to Poland. So, we arrived to Poland and drove up the Karpaty Mountains, and it was snowing. Welcome to Poland. We are in Karpaty Mountains right now. Yesterday I was wearing dress, walking through the vineyards in southern Germany, and today we are here.
We actually really wanted to stay longer in Poland, but the weather forecast was just to rain for a week, so we decided to just drive home. We stayed in this wonderful hotel with a spa and such an amazing Eastern European breakfast. The price for all was the same I paid for the night in the Foxbox though, just to compare. Then the next day we continued our journey straight through the Poland. It took around 10 hours and we stayed overnight at a really nice Polish family run guest house in Sobolki. And then we continued our drive through Lithuania and were treated with such an amazing cold beetroot soup and cottage cheese pancakes. And after a couple of hours we crossed our border and more than two weeks of Euro trip home was over. A new chapter is about to start.